What's up YouTube, Alex here with Mojave Repeater and today what I have for you is a frozen radio test. So in the desert, as you may know, it's very hot during the day and cold at night. So we're gonna put these radios to the test by freezing them in a cooler full of dry ice, soaking them down with some water and see how they perform after we freeze them solid. As you may know, the cold weather negatively impacts the performance of the batteries on your radio. So one trick that we use in the military is we would take our radios and we would put them in our sleeping bag overnight and that would keep them warm to prevent the radio from dying overnight. So in the morning, whenever you go to do whatever you know mission that you set out to do, it's going to still work the next day. All right, so we have six different model radios here. Some are just cheap radios you can get on Amazon and some are duty rated uh, radios that have been in service with police departments and the military for many years. So what we're gonna do first is just set them down on the table and soak them in some water. All right, now they're gonna go in the cooler for about five, 10 minutes, and we're gonna see how they hold up. All right, so these things have been in this cooler for about 15 minutes. I have my gloves on and my protective equipment just in case one of these radios blows up on me. But we're gonna take these out and give them a test, see what happens. Whoa. Damn. Some of these are looking pretty bad. All right, so we're gonna start doing radio checks with the weakest radio first. On screen, I'm gonna display the IP rating of the radio, the durability rating, and then what the temperature range is that it's good, good to go for. And that is if those stats exist online, because I think we'll have a hard time finding some of those probably for like the Baofeng and stuff like that. But starting off, the Baofeng UV5R, we're gonna give this a quick check and see if it turns on. Wow. So surprisingly, this radio actually did turn on, uh, which I was not expecting at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the frequency we're testing on, and we're gonna give this a radio check. Radio check one, two. Anything? No? Is your volume up? All right. Radio check one, two. Static. Static, huh? Test, test. Wow, I think this really, uh, the test really damaged the transceiver. Radio check one, two. Try to send one back. Radio check one, two. Okay. So I'm actually hearing radio checks come through on this, but when I try to transmit out uh, the other end is just getting all static. So this radio is pretty much toast. Also, one thing that I'm noticing is the battery drained like very quickly. It's pretty much, it's showing like a dead battery right now. And I know this thing was fully charged before we put it in the cooler. All right, so that's the Baofeng UV5R. Next up, we're gonna try the Anytone 878. So this is a little bit more capable. It's a digital radio but we're gonna just test it on an analog channel. And I know that this thing is not really rated for uh, water resistance, but we're gonna display on screen the water resistance rating of this radio. So here we go. It turned on just fine, which is awesome. Radio check one, two. Roger, loud and clear. So I got a good radio check out. Um, I think if you press the AB button, and then just give me a radio check again. Radio check, one, two. Awesome, okay. Wow, that's great. So this is both sending and receiving traffic 
after being frozen in the dry ice. Excellent. So now we're moving up to a little bit more professional and durable radios. This is a Motorola XPR 6550, and these are Moto Turbo, or also known as DMR radios. And Motorola is very well known for their durability, so I would be surprised if this one didn't work. All right, awesome, this thing came right up. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a radio check. Radio check, one, two. Roger, loud and clear. Go ahead and send that back. Roger, loud and clear. Uh, press the AB button and do it again. Roger, loud and clear. All right, cool, excellent. So this Motorola XPR radio is both sending and receiving traffic on an analog channel. Next, we have the Hytera PD682. Now, this radio has an aluminum chassis, so I could already feel in my hand it's a lot colder right now. Um, I think it conducted a lot of the cold air um, more than some of these other radios that are made out of plastic will. So, just turning this on. All right, so it came on. The screen is a little dim, though. I think the screen may be somewhat damaged. Radio check, one, two. Roger, loud and clear. Awesome. Okay, that was really loud. Excellent. All right, cool. So the PD682 survived. Um, did an excellent job. It was very loud and clear coming through with the radio check. And now for our two most legendary uh, radios in terms of durability. These have been in service with the fire department and police for decades. Um, this is an EF Johnson 5100 radio, and it's an incredibly durable um, radio that you know, has been in service for a long time. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one survived the test. So no issues turning on. Let me give it a radio check. Radio check one, two. Anything? Send that again. Radio check one, two. Okay, no issues receiving. Um, but one thing I noticed is the battery is like completely dead um, despite being charged to 100% last night and it's not sending any traffic. So I'm actually, I'm getting the red LED for transmit on the radio itself, but it looks like the microphone may have been damaged because it's not picking up any, uh, any of my voice. All right, so that's, that's kind of surprising. Yeah, I was definitely expecting this radio to work, but it looks like it is busted. All right, and finally, this is one of the most popular radios in public safety. Uh, this is the Motorola XTS 5000. And just like the EF Johnson, this is an extremely durable radio um, that's been in service for quite a long time. So I'd be surprised, once again, if this one doesn't work. That would really surprise me. All right, cool. Came on just fine. No issues there. Radio check one, two. Cool, excellent. All right, cool. So the XTS 5000, no issues whatsoever. This came on just fine. All right, so I hope this test today gave you a good idea about what you can do with your radios. Um, don't be afraid to get out there and use them. I mean, even something as simple as a Baofeng, even though it's not designed to withstand you know, any sort of water resistance, it survived this test just fine. After dumping a bunch of water on it and throwing it in a cooler full of dry ice, you know, don't be afraid to get out there, use your radios, really put them to the test in a duty environment, in a duty capacity, um, and see what these things can do for you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this test today. If you like this video, please leave a like, hit that like button down below and leave a comment and let us know what you liked about the video. Um, if you have any future ideas, hit us in the comment section and let us know what you wanna see out of this channel. You know, if you really like this video and you wanna see more from us, then your best indication for us is to just leave a comment and leave a like, and then we'll continue to produce more of these videos. So I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you in the next one.